What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and ever since that Paper Mario Origami King trailer, there's been one thing on my mind. Metroid. Now, if you know me, one of my biggest things in my life is that I've never actually completed this game, Super Metroid, yes. But how I'm addicted to the Metroid franchise is one of the reasons why I love Nintendo and do a ton of Nintendo content here on the channel. So when that new trailer for the Paper Mario aired on Twitter just random Tuesday last week, the Metroid part at the end has been itching at me to talk about on this channel. Now that I got the time to actually sit with the trailer and think about all the possibilities that we could be getting, I wanted to make this video. Now, there's a lot of rumors and speculations about going on with Metroid and the Metroid franchise and with Metroid Prime 4 being announced and being delayed until basically the game is actually ready to be seen again. And put a lot of fans and basically people like me just wanting a scratch, wanting an itch. So anything Metroid, and it just brings up that, you know, that possibility like when, when, where. The last Metroid outing was on the 3DS and it was a remake. A 2D remake of the original Game Boy game, Metroid 2. And there have been a lot of rumors of us seeing another game, another Metroid game in the same vein as that remake. Basically remaking another Metroid game. And again, the game that has been attached to that rumor primarily has been Metroid Fusion on the GBA. Now, I played Metroid Fusion, I had it back on a DBA. Again, it's one of those pet peeves or one of those things about me that I have yet to beat in any Metroid game outside of Zero Mission on the GBA. And I haven't beaten um, Fusion on the GBA. And I haven't beaten this one, Super Metroid. Super Metroid is one that I always get up to quite far and kind of get distracted by other games I was playing. I never played this actually on the Super Nintendo. I always played this on, you know, 3DS or on the Virtual Console versions on the Wii and stuff like that. I never actually gotten, you know, my fair take when this game came out. However, I would love for them to do a update or, you know, a what we gotten with that you know, inside of that engine that is living on the 3DS currently of any other Metroid game. They could, you know, they could do this one. They could do, they could do Fusion. I take any of them because they're all great games. And you probably don't need me to, to sit here and to talk about how great these games are. Oh my God, I was not ready to fight this ball. So excuse me if I just like, did they drop that Salmon's helmet inside of that Paper Mario trailer? for no reason at all or was it a hint towards that we're getting a metroid game in the future obviously we're getting another metroid game the question is when was this actually part of a bigger direct that had that metroid game in it a lot of people are speculating maybe this was something to start that nintendo direct and then obviously it was going to end with metroid that's why metroid was at the end of the paper mario trailer again a lot of theories they stating that hey we're gonna get a 2d metroid game in 2020 it's gonna happen it's pretty much done but again a lot of people are speculating what metroid will it be will it be the remake of fusion that has been rumored to hell will it be a remake of the super nintendo version because i would love that even though if you think about it that kind of is prime but I, you know no it's not it's totally different i would categorize those as different games but again that itch for a metro game has still been with me and ever since again since that trailer that paper mario trailer i've been thinking about it let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of you do you think this was a hit or do you think this was just an you know a little cute scene to drop at the end of the trailer to get us Nintendo fans hype. You guys know how Nintendo does. They're the hype machines. They're the genius of hype, knowing how to get a game hype and also how to get us Nintendo fans talking about stuff and, you know, wishing for the stars. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down 
there. If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, discussion videos, talking to you guys. So again, if you want to be down with the crew, again, hit that subscribe button. And that's going to be it for me today. Peace. Again, I love you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.